Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up MySQL Server on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed MySQL Server and phpMyAdmin along with Apache. So from this page, simply click on launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and then choose the zone or region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Once that is done, simply scroll down and choose the machine type according to your requirements and then choose the disk space according to your requirements as well. And then you can leave the network settings as default and when you're satisfied with the settings, simply click on accept the agreement and then click on deploy. After that, you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. But before connecting to the virtual machine, we need to set the Windows password so that we can connect to our virtual machine using the admin account of Windows Server 2019. So for that, simply click on this tiny arrowhead icon and then click on set Windows password and then give yourself a username. So I'm going to go with CIS admin and then click on set. After that, it is going to take a few moments, but it will show you your password so that you can log in to your virtual machine using an RDP connection. So this is the password. So copy this password and store it somewhere safe. After that, you can simply close this dialog box and then click on this hamburger icon and then click on compute engine. In here, you can see your newly created virtual machine. And you can also see that it has a specific external IP. So what you're going to do is that you're going to hit Windows and search for remote desktop connection. Open up the application and in front of the computer field, you're simply going to copy this external IP and paste that over here. And then you're going to click on show options, type in the username that you have just created, which in my case was CIS admin, and then click on connect. After that, it is going to ask you for the password. So you simply paste in the password that you have stored somewhere safe. After that, simply click on OK and then it is going to show you another prompt. Then simply click Yes and wait for the connection to be fully established. And once the connection is made, you also need to wait for the Windows Server 2019 to completely load. Now, once the Windows Server has completely loaded, you can start working with MySQL. However, this image also comes with pre-installed MySQL Workbench and PHP MyAdmin so you can manage your MySQL database very easily. So in case you want to access PHP MyAdmin, simply click on this PHP MyAdmin icon on the desktop. Now the username for PHP MyAdmin is root and the password for the root user is currently this virtual machine's instance ID. Now to get this instance ID, simply minimize this RDP connection and then click on the name of your virtual machine. This is going to bring up the details page about your virtual machine. And here is the instance ID, so simply copy it and paste it inside the RDP connection in front of password and then hit go. Now let's talk about how you can create a new database in MySQL using phpMyAdmin. Now to create a database using phpMyAdmin, simply come over to this tab that says databases and then give your database a name. So I'm just going to create a database with the name demo and then you can set the encoding right over here. Once you're satisfied, simply click on create. So you can see that our database demo has now been created. Now, if you want to change the root password for MySQL using phpMyAdmin, you can also do that. Click on phpMyAdmin right over here and then click on user accounts. And then we are only concerned with the root user. So click on added privileges in front of the root user. And in here, what you're going to do is that you're going to head over to change password and then enter the new password for the root user. And then you can set the new authentication type or the password hashing. Once you're satisfied, simply click on go. Now the password for the root user has been changed. To confirm this, simply exit from this PHP MyAdmin and relaunch PHP MyAdmin. But this time around, you're going to use the new password. And once you hit go, you would be able to see that we were able to log into PHP MyAdmin. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up MySQL on Google Cloud Platform and also for the marketplace listing for Google Cloud Platform. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.